Hi! Hello, good day everyone! My name is Jervicate Stephen B. Escobar from 11 UMC. So, for today's video, we talk about the effective reading and writing. So, let's start! So, based on our module on uh, module one, the strategies for critical reading, uh, reading effectively requires approaching text with a critical eye, evaluating what you need, what you read for not just what it says, but how and why it says it. So, effective reading is trend central to both effective research when you evaluate source and effective writing when you understand how what you read is written. You can work to incorporate those techniques into your own writing. Um, being, being an effective reader also means being able to evaluate your own practices working to develop your critical reading skills. Reading critically does not necessarily, necessarily mean being critical of what you read. Though, at the sound of the word, it usually connotes critic or negative reactions. Both reading and thinking critically do not mean being critical about some idea or argument or um, piece of writing claiming that is somehow faulty or flawed it is going beyond what is given um, critical reading means NG engaging in what you read by asking yourself questions such as what is the author trying to say or what is the main what is the main what is the main argument being presented? Uh, this way we are communicating with the writer's okay. idea whether we are um, affirming or not. Um, critical reading involves presenting a recent argument that evaluates and analyzes what you have read. Being, being critical, being critical, therefore, is an um, wait, is an academic sense. So. Uh, this is the uh, effectiveness of reading and writing. Based on what I remember, the, or in the reading and writing, effective reading and writing can enable a person to expand their vocabulary as well as improve their our understanding of function, use, uh, correct grammar and generalization of literary components, and also reading in a way that helps we understand, evaluate, and reflect of our text, of or our written text. Then, also, my understanding to reading and writing is the relationship among reading, writing, and understanding is clear. A student engaged in reading to learn will, to learn will also be preferred to write well. And also, in turn, a student who are engaged in writing to learn will become more effective readers. And also, through both approaches, students will gain a better understanding of material and a greater ability to demonstrate the understanding. So, that is uh, the effectiveness of reading and writing. So, that's it. I hope you all learned. Thank you.